Israel has the highest number of engineers per capita. Uh, and also, we have the highest investment per capita in, uh, uh, in education. What is also very special in uh, the educational system is a relationship, very close relationship, that we have between the university and the industry. If uh, most of the major universities were established before even the creation of the State of Israel, you mentioned Einstein, so actually he came for the opening of the Technion and the Hebrew University back in 1925 or 24. Uh, but uh, what is very impressive, you see a small uh, research institute uh, such as uh, Weizmann Institute, uh, and they generate about $700 million last year from, of revenues from the licensing of technology that they have done to they have sold to the industry. So it's a very important source of funding. Develop a technology, it has to be competitive on the global basis. And we have here a few products or companies that are mentioned which became world leader. And I, I saw also in Brazil that some of them have been quite successfully deployed just to illustrate uh, when I came here uh, with my taxi, it was actually, I, I used the Waze, and most of them uh, are using this application which was sold to Google. The weight of, uh, of the military is important. Uh, you know, every person, every uh, person has to serve about three years. Uh, it's mandatory, and you know, for officers, it's even longer. But uh, it affects every one of us. Uh, they are minded to result. Uh, they are minded also to work in a team environment. So I think those elements have a major impact on the state of mind of the entrepreneurs when they quit the military and they create their own startup. One of the reasons is that it becomes more complicated for Chinese investors to invest in the US uh, with a uh, trade war between the two countries. And Israel is a very interesting source, an alternative source of technology for the Chinese market. Uh, they look for innovation, uh, and uh, Israel can provide this innovation in, and uh, provide an alternative. And as I say, the sector in Israel, the high-tech sector, is controlled by the private sector. So you don't have a situation where the government can impose that if you have a Chinese buyer, you can say, no, we don't want to sell to a Chinese uh, client or we don't want to sell your company to China, except if we're speaking about regulated markets, which are the military market and the bank and financial institution market. So those are the only sectors where you need approval of the government. But re regarding all the rest, obviously uh, the technology sector, biotech, medtech, etc., any Israeli company would be authorized to do whatever they want in, in China.